Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to Thee, O our God, glory to Thee, O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, who art in our places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life. Come dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls a good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, O now and ever, and to the age of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance, granting to thy people victory over all adversaries, and by thy cross preserving thine estate. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Do thou of thine own good will was lifted up upon the cross, O Christ our God. Bestow thy bounties upon the new nation, which is called by thy name. Make glad in thy might those who lawfully govern, that with them we may be led to victory over our adversaries. Happy, having in thine aid a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O champion dread who canst not be put to confusion, despise not our petitions, O good and all praise Theotokos. Establish the way of the Orthodox, Save those who have been called upon to govern us, leading us all to that victory which is from heaven. For thou art she who gave us birth to God, and alone art blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy we pray thee. Hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. And we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. And we pray for our Father and Metropolitan Saba and all our brotherhood in Christ. Ya Rabburham, Ya Rabburham, Ya Rabburham. Mankind, and unto thee do we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Bless Master in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Holy Consubstantial, life-giving and undivided Trinity, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of mine head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about, 
Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thy wrath, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. For thine arrows stick fast in me, and thy hand presseth me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger, neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. For mine iniquities are gone over mine head, as in heavy burden they are too heavy for me. My wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. I am troubled, I am bowed down greatly, I go mourning all the day long. For my loins are filled with a loathsome disease, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and sore broken, I have roared by reason of the disquietness of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before thee, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart panteth, my strength faileth me. As for the light of mine eyes, it is also gone from me. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from my sore, and my kinsmen stand afar off. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me, and they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things, and imagine deceits all the day long. But I as a deaf man heard not, and I was as a dumb man that openeth not his mouth. Thus I was as a man that heareth not, and in whose mouth are no reproofs. For in thee, O Lord, do I hope, thou wilt hear, O Lord my God. For I said, Hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. When my foot slippeth, they magnify themselves against me. For I am ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, I will be sorry for my sin, but mine enemies are lively, and they are strong. And they that hate me wrongfully are multiplied. They also that render evil for good are mine adversaries, because I follow the thing that good is. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord, O my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee, my flesh longeth for thee, in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live, I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed, and meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. But those that seek after my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword, they shall be a portion for foxes, but the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone that sweareth by him shall glory, but the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. I meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help. Therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Incline thine ear unto my cry, for my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh unto the grave. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am as a man that hath no strength, free among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, and darkness in the deeps. Thy wrath lieth hard upon me, and thou hast afflicted me with all thy waves. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me, thou hast made me an abomination unto them. I am shut up, and I cannot come forth. Mine eye mourneth by reason of affliction. Lord, I have called daily upon thee, I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Wilt thou show wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee? Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave, or thy faithfulness in destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why castest thou off my soul? Why hidest thou thy face from me? I am afflicted and ready to die from my youth up. While I suffer thy terrors, I am distracted. Thy fierce wrath goeth over me, thy terrors have cut me off. They came round about me daily like water, they compassed me round about. Lover and friend hast thou put far from me in mine acquaintance into darkness. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear unto my cry. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, 
who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, <coughs> who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executeth righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth him, them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works, and all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. <clears throat> Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplications, and thy faithfulness answer me, and in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul. He hath smitten my life down to the ground. He hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all thy works. I muse on the work of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty land. Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go in, down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good, lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, for thy righteousness' sake, bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy mercy, cut off mine enemies, and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear to my supplications, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy spirit is good, lead me into the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. O Lord, our hope, glory to thee. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. The whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. This holy house and those with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter herein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father in Metropolitan Saba, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our country, its president, our civil authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. This city and every city and countryside, and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For healthful seasons and abundance of the fruits of the <coughs> earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. By land and by air, the sick, the suffering, captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and every Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord and call upon his holy name. Allah Rabbu Dharana Mubarakun Al-Ati Bismillah All nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. It is marvelous in our eyes. Allahu Rabbu Dharana Mubarakun Al-Ati Bismillah From the heights thou didst descend, O compassionate Son and to the Holy Spirit, O holy apostles, intercede with the merciful God to grant our souls forgiveness of our sin. <laughs> إياك أيتها المتوسطة لخلاص جنسنا نسبح يا والدة الإله العذراء لأن ابنك وإلهنا بالجسد الذي اتخذه منك قابل الألام بالصليب واعتقنا من الفساد بما أنه محب للبشر Again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord Lord, Lord. Help us 
us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and holy the Virgin Theotokos Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Thine is the might and thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Thou was risen from the dead, O life of all, and a resplendent angel shouted to the women, Dry your tears and proclaim to the apostles and cry out in praise that Christ the Lord hath risen, he who hath been pleased to save mankind since he is God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Thou hast verily risen from the tomb, and thou didst command the righteous women to preach to the apostles the resurrection, as it was written. And as for Peter, he did hasten to the tomb. And when he saw the light in the grave, he was dazzled with surprise. Then he saw the linen clothes lying aside, where it was not possible to see them by night. And he believed and cried out, to Glory to thee, O Christ God. For thou hast saved us all, O our Savior, who still remainest in truth the radiance of the Father, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thou who for our sake was born of a virgin, and didst suffer crucifixion, O good one, and didst despoil death through death, and as God didst reveal resurrection. Despise not those whom thou hast created with thine own hand. Show forth thy love for mankind, O merciful one. Accept the intercessions of thy mother, the Theotokos, for us, and save thy despairing people, O our Savior. Men did seal thy tomb, O Savior, and the <coughs> angels did roll the stone from off thy grave, and the women witnessed thy resurrection from the dead. They proclaimed to thy disciples in Zion that thou didst rise, O life of all, and didst break asunder the bonds of death. O Lord, glory to thee, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Verily, when the women came with burial ointment, they heard from the grave an angelic voice, saying, Cease your tears and receive joy instead of sorrow, and cry and praise that Christ the Lord is risen, who being God was pleased to save mankind, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily, all creation rejoiceth in thee, O full of grace, the assemblies of angels and the races of men. O holy temple and paradise endowed with speech, the pride of virginity from whom God was incarnate and became a child, being yet our God before the ages, for he hath made thy receptacle a throne and thy womb more spacious in the heavens. Wherefore, O full of grace, the whole creation rejoiceth in thee and glorifieth thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Unto thee, 
apostles the resurrection. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Cover bearing women, mourn as bearing spices, they drew near thy tomb, O Savior. But the angels spake unto them, saying, Why number ye? Blessed is thy name and glorified is thy kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The ointment bearing women came to the tomb of the life giver seeking among the dead the Lord who is not dead. And when they received the glad tidings from the angels, they preached to the apostles that the Lord hath risen and granted the world the great mercy. From my youth the enemy hath tempted me, and with temptations hath he beguiled me. But I, O Lord, trusting in thee, have rejected him in shame. They who hate Zion shall become like grass before it is pulled up, for Christ shall cut down their necks with a scythe of torment. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily in the Holy Spirit all shall live, for he is light of light, a great God. Let us therefore praise him with the Father and the Word. Yea, let my humble heart be lighted by thy fear, lest it rise and fall from thee, O all-compassionate one. He that trusteth, trusteth in the Lord shall not fear when God shall judge all with tormenting fire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily by the Holy Spirit every divine one seeth and uttereth things to be, and performeth heavenly wonders. For he singeth to one God in three, for the Godhead, albeit of three lights, is one in leadership. To thee have I cried, O Lord, listen and turn thine ear towards me when I shout. Purify before thou raisest me from this place. Verily, everyone shall return and disappear 
in his mother the earth and shall be dissolved at once to receive their honors or punishments as rewards for what he had done in his lifetime. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily through the Holy Spirit one speaketh of the Godhead, the one, the thrice holy, for from the Father who is without beginning, the Son did proceed without time. And the Spirit who is their equal in appearance and on the throne hath shown forth from the Father likewise. Behold how good and how beautiful for the brethren to live together. For of this did the Lord promise eternal life. Verily he who beautifieth the flowers of the field commandeth that no one take heed for his dress. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Verily the Holy Spirit is the cause of all, and containeth in himself the harmony of safety. For he is truly equal to the Father, and the Son, and substance. to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For holy art thou, O our God, and unto, who rest us in the holy, and unto thee do we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Ulumasama. Praise ye God in his saints, praise him in the firm foundation of his power. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Let us beseech the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom, stand upright, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us attend. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be to you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be to you. As the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, and place my finger in the mark of the nails, and place my hand in his side, I will not believe. Eight days later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. The doors were shut, 
But Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be to you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not be faithless, but believing. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Thomas, you have believed because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you might have life in his name. Glory to the O Lord, glory to thee. In that we have beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us fall down before the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Thy cross do we adore, O Christ, and thy holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For thou art our God, we know none other beside thee, we call upon thy name. O come all ye faithful, let us adore Christ's holy resurrection. For lo, through the cross is joy been to all the world. I will bless the Lord that is singing his resurrection. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy great mercy, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out mine iniquity. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I acknowledge mine iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the unclear and hidden things of thy wisdom thou hast made clear to me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness, the bones which thou hast broken shall rejoice. Turn away thy face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and steady me with the guiding spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and the impious shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For hadst thou desired sacrifice, I would have given it thee. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings, sacrifices to God are a contrite spirit, a contrite and humble heart, O God, that wilt not despise. Do good, O Lord, and thy good will unto Zion, that the walls of Jerusalem may be built up. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father. According to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Jesus, having risen from the grave as he foretold, hath given unto us my eternal and great.
God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy word, visit thy world with mercy and compassions. Exalt the horn of Orthodox Christians and send down upon us thy rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our all immaculate Lady the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the mighty, the precious and life giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner and Baptist John, of the holy glorious all audible apostles, most especially Bartholomew and Titus of the Seventy, whose memory we celebrate this day, of our fathers among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, these are the great Gregory the Theologian, John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Cyril and John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas of Myrnaikia, Spirit on Neptromethos and Nectarios of Pentopolis, the Wonder Workers, of our Father among the Saints, Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn, of the Holy Glorious Great Martyrs, George the Trophy Bearer, Protector of this Holy Cathedral, Demetrios, the Merce Dreaming, Theodore the Soldier, Theodore the General, and Minas, the Wonder Worker, of the Higher Martyrs, Ignatius, the God Bearer of Antioch, Arlopos, and Eleutherios, of the Holy Glorious and Great Women Martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Fotini Marina, Paraskevia, and Irene, of the Holy Glorious and Right Victorious Martyrs, of our venerable and god bearing fathers who have shown in the ascetic life, of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all thy saints, we beseech thee, O most merciful Lord, Hearken unto the petitions of us sinners who make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy on us. compassions and love toward mankind of thine only begotten Son with whom thou art blessed together with thine all holy good and life-giving spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Arising from the tomb, O mighty Savior, thou didst rouse the dead. Thou didst raise Adam while Eve danceth in her new joy at thy blessed resurrection, O Lord. And the world's farthest regions keep the festival on thine arising from the dead with gladness and thanksgiving, O thou who art greatly merciful. O thou who art greatly merciful. When thou hadst despoiled the dominion of Hades and hadst raised the dead, O long suffering one, thou didst meet the myrrh bearing women, bringing them joy instead of sorrow. And unto thine apostles thou madest known the symbols of victory, O my Savior, giver of life. Thou hast enlightened creation, O lover of mankind. Wherefore the world rejoiceth at thine arising from the dead, O thou who art greatly merciful. O thou who art greatly merciful. On this day in the Holy Orthodox Church, we commemorate the return of the holy relics of the holy glorious apostle Bartholomew. On this day, we also commemorate the holy apostle Titus of the Seventy, Bishop of Gortinia and Crete. By the intercessions of thy saints, O Christ God, have mercy upon us. Amen. A cross did Moses inscribe when with an upright stroke of his rod he divided the Red Sea for Israel to want on foot. Then he turned and smote the sea, once again uniting it over Pharaoh's chariots, with transverse stroke portraying the invincible weapon. Therefore let us praise in song, Christ our God, for he truly is glorified. 
perceived as a figure of the mystery, for by its blossoming it showed who was chosen to be priest. And for the church that formerly was barren, and the wood of the cross now blossom forth unto strength and steadfastness. I have hearkened and heard, O Lord, of thy dispensation's most awesome mystery, and I came to knowledge of thy works, and I sang the praise of thy divinity. يا لك من عود مثلث الغبطة عليه بوسط المسيح الرب المالك وبه سقط الذي خدع بالعود إذ خدع بك بالإله الذي سمر عليك بالجسد المانح السلامة لنفوسنا When Jonah was in the belly of the sea monster stretched forth his hands in the form of a cross Godly tyrant's most insensed decree, a frighted common folk breathing forth with threats and wicked mouthings of blasphemy. But the three children were not struck with fear by rage, wild and bestial, nor by roaring fire. But in an echoing and dubious sprinkling breeze, they stood amidst the fire and sang, O thou supremely praise God of our fathers and our God, forever are thou blessed. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. God the Father and Creator, praise ye the Word, who descended and changed the fire into dew, and supremely exalt the old Holy Spirit, who granted life unto all forever. The Theotokos and Mother of the Light, let us honor and magnify in song. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Regard the lowliness of his handmaiden, for behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. Yemen he a cramumina sherubi, me war for majda 
بغير قياس من السرافيم التي بغير فساد ولدت كلمة الله وهي حقا والدة الإله ياكن التي بغير فساد ولدت كلمة الله وهي حقا والدة الإله He has filled the empty with good things, and the rich have peace and safety away. to the Lord. Lord of mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves in each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Glory. of heaven praise thee and unto thee do they ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages Amen Holy is the Lord our God Thou hast 
entered while the doors were shut fast, thou, O Master, didst fill thine up apostolic choir with the all-holy Spirit, and having breathed peace upon them, thou verily didst tell them to bind and loose the sins of men, and the eighth day thereafter thy wounded side, and thy hands didst thou display unto Thomas, with whom we cry, O Lord our God, art thou, O sovereign master. We celebrate with fervent love the sacred deposition. O godly wise Bartholomew, of thy most hallowed relics, as with sincere faith we love thee, for thou didst strangely sail forth unto the Isle of Lipara, from the east and by taking thy wondrous source. Thou didst light up all of the west with splendor, O God, proclaimer, sent of Christ, and his divine apostle. Initiate of grace divine, O famed apostle Titus, entreat the Holy Trinity with all the godly minded that peace be granted. Save the glory and the light of the celestial kingdom. With all the ranks of angel hosts, with all the choirs of martyrs, with the apostles' companies, with all the just and prophets, we sing thy praises, O maiden, O virgin Theotokos, for thou hast given birth to God, who in wisdom has telling at by the cross, overthrown the tyrannous reign of Hades, and saved all of our
Sanctuary, praise him in the firmament of his power. Through the O Lord, the Jews place thee in a grave like a like dead. The soldiers guarded thee as a slumbering king and as a treasure of life. They sealed thee. But thou didst rise and grant incorruptibility to our soul. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Thou didst give us thy cross, O Lord, as a weapon against the abolition. Unable to behold its power, the fear and tremble, for it raiseth the dead and hath a no death. Wherefore do we worship thy burial and resurrection? sound of the trumpet, praise him with the psaltery and heart. The angel proclaiming thy resurrection, O Lord, did frighten the guards, but to the women he cried out, saying, Why seek ye the living among the dead? Verily he hath risen, being God and hath granted life to the universe. Praise him with a timbrel and dance, praise him with stringed instruments and organs. God, the wellspring of our life, sent thee to go unto every land, a divine river flowing forth to dry up the waters of many gods and idols, but with streams of God-given doctrines watering the world and drowning tears of deception in thy floods and freeing from adversities all those persuaded by thee in faith. O all blessed Bartholomew, thou apostle of Christ the Lord. Praise him upon the loud cymbals, praise him on thy sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. We the faithful knowing thee to be a sun that grows in these and that set in the west beyond. In wondrous procession was made upon the waters. Verily we keep the commemoration every year of thy most strange coming, which amazeth all, and for which cause we all pray homage to thy marvels and miracles. O allotted Bartholomew, thou apostle of Christ the Lord. Their sound hath gone forth into all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. Dead within thy tomb thou didst become a traveler on the sea, setting out whence the sun doth rise. 
And reaching its setting place, journeying with martyrs. O oh, unsetting day, star arisen in the Church of Christ. O oh, wise Bartholomew, truly blessed of God. And there thou didst take up thy rest, thyself becoming most wondrously. Rest from labors and pains for all, and redemption from every ill. Let heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmaments proclaimeth the work of his hands. Set a blazing mind with shinings of divine light, thou wentest forth as a ray with that brilliant sun. Divine Paul, who shed his light on all things in darkness, and with him, O Titus, didst thou deliver all the earth from the most heavy and darkest night of all. For this we call thee blessed as a hierarch truly elect of God. <laughs> an apostle inspired of God, and our fervent ambassador.
unto ages of ages. Amen. Most blessed art thou, o Virgin Theotokos, born through him that was incarnate of thee is Hades despoiled. Adam is recalled from the dead. The curse is made void, Eve is set free. Death is slain, and we are endowed with life. Wherefore, in hymns of praise we cry aloud, Blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who is thus well pleased. Glory to thee. Glory to thee, who has shone forth the light. Glory to God on high and on earth, peace and goodwill among men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. Kyrie vasile fe purani ethe, pater pandokrator, Kyrie ye mono yenesi, su Christe ke agion pnevma. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, thou who takest away the sins of the world. The Qabbal tadarru.
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who with faith reverence in the fear of God into therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father and Metropolitan Saba, the Honorable Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For 
our country, its president, the civil authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and every city and countryside and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For helpful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. It is good thing to give praise unto the Lord, and to sing unto thy name, O Most High. Claim thy mercy in the morning and thy truth at night. For our God is just, and in him there is no oppression. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O Savior, Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, God's Lord Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thine is the might and thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. The Lord hath reigned, he is clothed with beauty, the Lord is clothed with strength, and hath girded himself. O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, save us and sing unto thee, Alleluia. For he hath established the world which shall not be moved. O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, Sing unto thee, Holiness becometh thy house, O Lord, unto length of days. O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, save us who sing unto thee, Alleluia. Son and word of 
Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art a good God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
merciful God, to grant unto our souls forgiveness of offenses. Saint Paul's first letter 
to the Corinthians. Let us attend. Brethren, we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field, God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a skilled master builder, I laid a foundation, and another man is building upon it. Let each man take care how he builds upon it. For no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, each man's work will become manifest. For the day will disclose it because it will be revealed with fire. And the fire will test what sort of work each one has done. If the work which any man has built on the foundation survives, he will receive a reward. If any man's work is burned up, he will suffer loss, though he himself will be saved, but only as through fire. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy. And that temple you Sing to the Lord, let us shout for joy to God our Savior. Let us come into His presence with thanksgiving. Wisdom attend, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to our Reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. us attend. At that time, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went upon the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but the boat was in the middle of the sea, beaten by the waves, for the wind was against it. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus came to them, walking on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I, have no fear. And Peter answered him, saying, Lord, if it is you, bid me to come to you on the water. Jesus said, 
come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. But when he saw the mighty wind, he was afraid. And beginning to seek, he sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, O man of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind became calm. And those in the boat came and worshipped Jesus, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. And when they crossed over, they came to the land at Gennesaret. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If we know the Gospel stories well, it's easy to have selective hearing. To only notice or remember that which we expect to hear, and miss other details. Today you heard how Peter stepped off the boat, walked on the water towards Christ, The wind and the waves scared him and he sank. He cried out for help and the Lord saved him. In a few hours, that's probably all you'll remember from today's gospel. But listen to how it began. And after Jesus had dismissed the crowds, he went up into the hills by himself to pray. It's a small detail. It's easy to miss but there are no wasted words in Scripture. Every verse contains soul-saving medicine. Immediately before this passage in Matthew was last week's Gospel, Jesus multiplying the five loaves and the two fish for the multitude. So in between these two great miracles, feeding and healing the 5,000 and walking on water, Jesus spent the whole night in prayer. He took time to spend alone with his Father. He didn't go out to the disciples on the boat until the fourth watch of the night. That's between 3 and 6 a.m. So say he he sent the crowds and disciples away around 8 p.m. and went out to them at 3 a.m. That would mean he spent at least seven hours of the night in prayer alone in the hills. You could easily argue it could have been 10 or more hours. Why did Jesus Christ spend 10 hours in prayer that night? Today, Peter gives us that answer. Ever eager, Peter says, Lord, if it is you, bid me to come to you on the water. And Jesus says, come. Peter steps off the boat, walks on the water, goes right up to the Lord. Whatever holy thoughts he may have been thinking as he walked went away once he was distracted by the stormy sea around him. Peter cries out, Lord, save me. Jesus saves him and rebukes him for his lack of faith. The Christian life is about stepping off of the boat, walking on the water, and finding Jesus. The boat is comfortable. The boat gives us a sense of security in the stormy sea of life. The Lord provided a good example today with the storm that we're hearing right now. The boat is what we look to for comfort and a sense of security when we feel the sorrow, the pain, and the disappointment of life. Traditionally, we were told that 
a big bank account, a nice house, a good spouse, a stable career, that these would make a good boat to sail across the sea of life. However, today, more and more people have given these up and are turning to the internet, social media, television, video games, pornography, endless scrolling and tapping and liking and comparing ourselves to others just to numb the pain of life. These are effective sedatives. They're easy to hide. But we're still on a boat in the middle of a stormy sea. These comforts won't stop the storm from raging or the water from seeping in. Jesus offers another way. He knows life is difficult, but he wants us to conquer the storm, not to numb the pain or insulate ourselves from all difficulties, not to pretend that we can escape suffering. Look at the birds and the flowers, he says, how our Heavenly Father cares for them and adorns them. Aren't you more valuable than they? Instead of trying to build a nice boat to sail comfortably through life, Jesus calls out to us from the sea, inviting us to join him on the water. To live the miraculous life of a Christian, courageous in the face of challenges. Jesus wants us to stop putting our trust in comforts that will disappear, that moth and rust will consume, that we can't take with us after we die. He wants us to leave those behind and put our trust in him. He calls us to conquer the stormy sea, the evil and chaos of this world, with him. He wants to give us his divine power to conquer sin and the devil, just like he gave Peter power to walk on the water. If we are willing to respond to that call like Peter, we accept holy baptism. We enter into those waters, dying with Christ, and we come out a new creation risen with Christ. Now we are fed by God, eating the body and blood of Christ. Now we have our sins washed away in confession. Now we are anointed with the holy unction for our healing. Now we are God's sons and daughters, filled with his Holy Spirit. However, as Peter soon discovers, just because you're walking on water doesn't mean the wind and the waves stop. Just because we're baptized doesn't mean life gets easier. We still need the things of this earth, food, clothing, and shelter, and we're still going to suffer pains and sorrows. Jesus tells us this many times. In the world, you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. We just heard the choir sing, blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Our Lord knows that we will have difficulties in life, but we greet the challenge with hope, faith, and love in the risen Lord. It was love that took Peter out onto the water. He didn't say, Lord, bid me to have this amazing power to walk on the stormy sea. He said, Lord, bid me to come to you. All Peter wants is to be with the Lord. That is the necessary condition for our baptism, for our Christian life. Love for the Lord who became a man, suffered, died, and rose on the third day, all for our salvation. The Christian heart yearns for Jesus in their hearts at all times. Without this love, the Christian life is painful. It becomes drudgery, pointless rules and regulations. But if we cultivate this love within our hearts, the Christian life is all joy, light, and peace. Just like a flower needs water, good soil, and sunlight, our love for the Lord needs nourishing asceticism, prayer, fasting, confession, prostrations, arriving to services early, staying until the very end, studying scripture, giving to the poor. These nourish our love for the Lord. 
When Jesus prayed for at least seven hours in the hills that night, he was not doing something impossible. We should not say, oh, he's God, it's easy for him to pray all night. That is not the Orthodox Christian faith. He is fully God and fully man. It was just as hard for him to do these things as it is for you and for me. By his prayer, Jesus teaches us the need for prayer. By taking time before and after our busy days to spend time alone with Jesus, we nourish our love for the Lord. That love for the Lord is what carries us on the water, what gives us the strength to see the storm and say, I am not afraid, to face life's pains, sorrows, and betrayals and say with St. Paul, you cannot separate me from the love of Christ. But the devil has more tricks to separate us from the love of Christ than just suffering. Today, more than ever, it's distractions. For example, seemingly overnight, our culture decided it would be a good idea to carry distraction machines around in our pockets that put us in contact with the entire world, but cut us off from our own hearts. This was Peter's real sin, that he let himself be distracted by the storm. That's what weakened his faith. For the fathers of the church, watchfulness and sobriety are essential Christian virtues. But instead, the world pushes us to be distracted, numb, unaware of the danger around us, to sleep on the boat and not recognize that Christ is outside waiting for us. For example, more and more states today are legalizing things like marijuana and sports betting that numb our hearts and keep us distracted. The best remedy to distraction is love for the Lord, cultivated by nourishing asceticism. When we nourish this love, we can return to the boat with Jesus like Peter did today, and then the storm stops. When we go out to the Lord, he brings us back to the boat and sanctifies the boat. He sanctifies the things of this earth that we need and purifies, washes away the things that we don't need. He washes away the distractions. Many years later, after St. Peter walked on the water, he wrote in his epistle, but the end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be serious and watchful in your prayers. The end is at hand. Now is the time to confess our sins, to keep our prayer rule, one that is both attainable and challenging. Now is the time to put our faith in the Savior of our souls, our Lord Jesus Christ, to leave the distractions behind, step off the boat, and join our Savior on the water. Today is the day of salvation. If we are comfortable and complacent in our faith, now is the time to confess our sins, turn again to the Lord, and say with Saint Peter, Lord, if it is you, bid me to come out to you on the water. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom. That guarded always by thy might, we may ascribe glory unto thee. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
blasphemously represent the cherubim and sing with grace, holy hymns and life giving trinity and lay aside all earthly care. That we may receive the King of all who comes invisibly escorted by angelic hosts. Receive the King of all who comes invisibly as portrait by Angelic Host. Hallelujah, hallelujah, All of you and all Orthodox Christians, the Lord God remember in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Our most reverend Metropolitan Saba and all our brotherhood in Christ. The Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Our president, civil authorities, and armed forces, 
the Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Orthodox servants of God, that they might have mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation, and the pardon and forgiveness of their sins. Jean, Antoinette, Hannah, Salim, Alex, Jacob, Cindy, Emily, Renee, and their families, Sammy, Kara, Antoon, Jeanette, the Wasim, Mufid, Hamid, Edmund, Salim, and their families, Angela, Henriette, and families. May the Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The servants of God departed this life in the hope of resurrection unto life eternal. Taisia, Corinne, Rose, Dib, Nassim, Alicia, Najib, Mariana, and the servants of God, Bus and Shirley. The Lord God remember them in his kingdom always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Let us complete our prayer unto the Lord. For the precious gifts now set forth, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and the fear of God into therein, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and forgiveness of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all-holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. And to thy Let us 
love one another that with one accord we may confess. Doors, the doors in wisdom let us attend. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God, very God, begotten not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things are made. Who for us sin and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and stood at the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, that proceeds from the Father, whom the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand with fear, let us attend that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Lift up our hearts with them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. Thanks to the Lord. All the things which we know, which we know, all the things 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 we know, all the Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. With these blessed powers we also, Master, love us mankind, cry aloud and say, Holy art thou and all holy, thou and then only begotten Son of thy Holy Spirit. Holy art thou and all holy, magnificent is thy glory, whose soul of the world, so as to give thine only begotten Son. And all who believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Holy and fulfill all the dispensation for us in all
This is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. I own of thine own we offer unto thee in behalf of all and for all. We praise thee, we bless thee, we give thanks unto thee, O Lord, and we pray unto thee, O our God. And again we offer unto thee this rational and bloodless worship beseech thee and pray thee and supplicate thee. Send down thy Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here spread forth and make this bread the precious body of thy Christ. And that which is in this cup the precious blood of thy Christ. Changing them by thy Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That to those who shall partake thereof they may be Especially our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Saba, whom do thou grant to thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. Amen. And of those who offer these precious gifts to the Lord our God, the Honorable <coughs> Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, and every priestly order and of their salvation, of the peace and stability of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, 
the salvation and help of the people here present, those whom they're remembering, and of all mankind. And of all mankind. Grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise an all honorable majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts which have been spread forth and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loveth mankind, receiving them upon his holy, most heavenly, and ideal altar, as a savor of spiritual sweetness, will send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us command ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. And but say, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon Thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. Bow your heads unto the Lord. Through the grace and compassions and love toward mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy and good and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Let us attend. The holy things are for the holy.
Be my partaking of thy holy mysteries, O Lord, and to the healing of the soul of your body.
With the fear of God, with faith and with love, draw near. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and hath revealed himself unto us. Receive me
upright, having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, yes, dread mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves in each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Let us go forth in peace. Pray to the Lord. Lord o Lord, who blessest those who bless thee and sanctifies those who put their trust in thee, save thy people and bless thine inheritance, preserve the fullness of thy church, sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house, glorify them in recompense by thy divine power, and forsake us not who hope on thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to the civil authorities, to the armed forces, and to all thy people. For all good giving and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. the spirits of the righteous may perfect give rest to the soul of thy servant O Savior and preserve it in that life of blessedness which is with thee O thou who lovest mankind in the place of thy rest O Lord where all thy saints repose give rest also to the soul of thy servant for thou only lovest mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou art our God, who descended into Hades, and loose the bonds of those who were there. Thyself give rest also to the soul of thy servant. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Virgin alone, pure and immaculate, who without stain did spring forth, God, intercede for the salvation of her soul. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for the repose of the soul of the servant of God, Caesia, the part of this life, that thou wilt pardon her every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary. That the Lord God will establish her soul where the just repose. Lord, The mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and forgiveness of our sins. Let us ask of Christ, our mortal King and our God. Let us pray to the Lord. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who was trampled down death, made powerless the devil, and given life to thy world. Do thou the same, Lord, give rest to the soul of thy departed servant, Tasia, in a place of brightness, a place of verdure, a place of repose, 
whence all sickness, sorrow, and sighing have fled away. Pardon every sin which he hath committed, whether by word or deed or thought, for thou art good and lovest mankind. There is no man who liveth and sinneth not, and thou only art without sin, and thy righteousness is to all eternity, and thy word is truth. For thou art the resurrection and the life and the repose of thy departed servant, Tasia, O Christ our God, and unto thee do we ascribe glory together with thine unoriginate Father, thine all holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. May her memory be eternal. May her memory be eternal. May Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. The blessings of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love toward mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Christ, our Holy Spirit. The holy and righteous divine ancestors, Joachim and Anna, the holy apostles Bartholomew and Titus of the Seventy, whose memory we celebrate, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. As most of you know, today is the first Sunday liturgy. Uh, we're celebrating with the newly ordained presbyter, Father Mark. And the Lord order, ordered up quite the fireworks show to celebrate <laughs> this morning. I don't remember anything like this. Grant, O Lord, a prosperous and peaceful life, health, salvation, and the furtherance of all good things to thy newly ordained presbyter, Mark, and preserve him for many years. 